most of the people recognize you as a big screen actor, but not everyone knows that before you became an actor, you were passionate mainly about music. What did your beginning with singing and the music look like? Um, well, I, I, I was brought up around music. I was always singing, mm -hmm. always singing as a child. Mm -hmm. um, and I just did it for myself, really, until I was about 16 when mm -hmm. somebody told me in school, my, singing te my music teacher in school said that if ever I would like to, I should take up singing lessons okay. because I have a talent. Yeah. So I left school at 16 and I joined, I went, started to work. And then I uh, saved 15 pounds a week mm -hmm. and I used to have singing lessons. And those oh. singing lessons helped me learn the craft of singing and learn mm -hmm. how to breathe and I learned Italian mm -hmm. aria and classical music oh. as well as musical theatre, Welsh hymns, Irish hymns. Okay. Um, by singing all those kinds of different music, mm -hmm. you know, I learned how to sing, as a, uh, learn as a singer mm -hmm. and then I went to college. Yeah. So that's sort of how it all began. And what made you decide to record your debut album? When did you come up with this idea? Well, I didn't come up with it, actually. It was a, <laughs> I was approached by a record producer oh, okay. um, who had heard me sing for the Queen on mm -hmm. a show I did last year. Mm -hmm. um, it was her 92nd birthday, mm -hmm. and they did a big celebration, and I was invited to sing one of her favorite oh. songs, and it was, I was on the television. Okay. And it was, a big, it was a big night. It was yeah. really fun, and I got to sing, and it was really special. Yeah. And they saw that, and they approached me, and they said, have you ever thought about... Mm -hmm. recording an album and I was like my god mm -hmm. I would love to record an album it's been my dream for a very yeah. long time so that's sort of how it began and then a year later here I am <laughs> and the songs on your debut album are very well known are tracks of legendary artists uh, how did you choose them I mean why exactly this particular ones well, the, the list was long it was like uh -huh. 60 songs long and I had to reduce it to 12 yeah. and um, they're all songs that I love, mm -hmm. songs that I like to sing. Mm -hmm. Interestingly, a lot of the songs on the album are mm -hmm. by female artists yes. yeah. and have never been covered by mm -hmm. a man. Mm -hmm. So that was interesting in itself because it meant that when we reimagined these very famous tracks and we mm -hmm. rearranged them, they were going to sound very different mm -hmm. and they were going to sound, they were going to be sung by a man. Yeah. So that sort of was how I chose them and just really, really interesting songs that we knew that we could do something different with. And, and, uh, and that's how we have the album. Uh, can you pick your favorite one from this album? Oh, they're all really, they're all so f really enjoyable to listen to. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I really enjoyed like changing them and, mm -hmm. and making them different. Mm -hmm. I love my single, mm -hmm. which is changing. changing that's yeah. very, very cool. I love it very much. Mm -hmm. It's also the one that no one will have heard before. Mm -hmm. um, Turn Back Time yeah. is really cool because we've turned it into a very, slow, yes. melancholic yeah. ballad. And you start to listen to it in a different way. So maybe that, maybe that one. Uh, I have to say that I love uh, Say You Love Me by oh, Jesse Ware. Which, who yes. I've met. I met Jesse yeah. Ware last week for the Yeah, for the podcast. Time. Yes, yeah, did a so, podcast. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> and she'd heard the song and yeah. she loved it. Oh, so right. I was like, <laughs> thank God. <laughs> I uh, noticed that all the songs are actually about love. Doesn't mean that you are a romantic type, or is it a coincidence? <laughs> no, 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 definitely love songs and songs about love and heartache and yeah. loss and finding love are definitely something I, I, mm -hmm. I, I migrate towards those kind of songs. Okay. It's just the way I'm an emotional human. I'm, I'm definitely a romantic person, so, and I love to sing those kind of songs, so, you know. That's why. Perfect. Um, while working uh, on this record, on your debut album, you collaborated with the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra, which for me, I think this, uh, this collaboration makes this uh, record very cinematic, in my opinion. Was it your idea to, to have this collaboration? We definitely had them in mind. We didn't know whether mm -hmm. they would say yes, yeah. mm -hmm. but uh, they absolutely were up for the idea and um, yeah, they, they, they played all the arrangements, yeah. all, mm -hmm. all the orchestration is by mm -hmm. the Philharmonic Orchestra and it's magical to hear like these sweeping yeah. 
orchestrations behind my voice mm -hmm. and it's like wow you know? <laughs> and it has provided quite a filmic sound to a lot of the tracks which mm -hmm. is very cool mm -hmm. uh, this record uh, comes out on 22 of november and what's next are you planning a worldwide tour i'm definitely planning to tour next year oh yeah. yeah i hopefully i'll uh, i'll come to <laughs> poland Perfect. Um, and uh, yeah, sing these these songs uh, and and lots of other songs as well, mm -hmm. um, which I would love to do because as a singer, I love to sing live. I love mm -hmm. to sing to an audience, have a band, and mm -hmm. it just would be a magical thing. So, mm -hmm. fingers crossed, that'll be what I'll, I'll do next year. Sure. And can we expect your second album, but with your own songs? I definitely, if I if I'm lucky enough to make a second album, then I will definitely be having original tracks on there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great, thank you very much. It was a huge pleasure to have you here. Thank nice you. To meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs>